Guru Padma Sambhava, uh, which is now uh, very, very uh, well known to everybody. I think the I think as long as somebody is Vajrayana, everybody knows Guru Padma Sambhava. Yes, the, there's no anybody who doesn't know Guru Padma Sambhava who is Vajrayana practitioners, because the Guru Padma Vajrayana is rooted with the Guru Padma Sambhava. And uh, so, um, as uh, you know, Guru Padma Sambhava was uh, uh, basically, uh, there was one king, yes. In fact, there was one king whose name uh, is Intrabudi. Uh, it's uh, Odiyana, so it's the northeast of um, Afghanistan. So somewhere between Pakistan and Afghanistan, that's that area. So there was like a, in, in former time there was a place called on Odiana, and that country or that region or that city king name was Indra Budi. So who uh, did not have any successor and who wished to uh, really have uh, a, a successor, and uh, so for that reason, king um, did. Uh, all, all the kind all kind of like you know possibility to have a successor so uh, in the result so one time when uh, he was uh, on excretions uh, there was uh, what you call uh, what, like like radiating and shining light uh, in the middle of the leg and then uh, Lumbo and the ministers and the king uh, the Courage, they, they figure out, they recognize this was something, and then they ask, uh, they talk, uh, they're told to, they report it to King, and then they decided to see, yes, what is, what is going on there, and then finally, in that, there was one lotus flower, and then they found a very uh, small uh, baby, yes, a child, so uh, uh, it was a uh, 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 wooden mon monkey year yes, on a uh, 10th uh, waxing moon. Uh, so that was the Guru Padma Sambhava bird day, according to the uh, lunar calendar. So uh, we uh, did everything to have a successor. I think this is the gift for me, you know. Uh, so that, that's how Guru Padma Sambhava was adopted by the king and uh, and uh, brought back to the palace. So, however, later on, then uh, Guru Padma Sambhava, who uh, studied in uh, Nalanda and then to different places in uh, different places in India, yes, yeah, studied and uh, then uh, as you are familiar with the place called Chopema, yes, uh, where Guru Padma Sambhava. Uh, was uh, practicing with the uh, King Yudhishthira, the consort of Guru Padma Sambhava, and there was like you know um, one of the main activity of Guru Padma Sambhava happened to be with the King Yudhishthira, the consort of Guru Padma Sambhava father, who had, who had a problem with uh, Guru Padma Sambhava. Why? Because Guru Padma Sambhava was like that time he was like yogi meditating and uh, in a cave, and you know he had nothing. And then the king uh, did not want to give his uh, uh, daughter to such a man. And then uh, king tried to uh, expel and punish Guru Padma Sambhava in many ways. And every time different kind of you know uh, miracles or different kind of like nothing, uh, uh, nothing uh, caused Guru Padma Sambhava to expel. And uh, so finally. Uh, King realized that Guru Padma Sambhava is not an ordinary animal. He became a, truly a yogi. And uh, so uh, King also uh, 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 gave up uh, harming Guru Padma Sambhava and uh, instead he also uh, became a disciple of Guru Padma Sambhava. And then um, till this date we can also you know, go to Chopema uh, and see uh, the, the lake, yes, where Guru Padma Sambhava was burned uh, in a, 
uh, gifts of fire and then nothing, nothing happened to him after a fire. Well, fire remained for several weeks, uh, but still uh, when Guru uh, was, was unharmed is, and that way, so we still can uh, do, uh, go to Sotarma on you know, special day, let's say, but they uh, Guru Padma Sambhava. And that day, when you do some Guru Padma Sambhava meditation, uh, if your devotion is meet, then Guru Padma Sambhava, there, was one, there, there is one, like a, uh, like a say, tree which comes towards you for blessing, you know. This is amazing, you know. You still can, uh, still these days. So this is one uh, one of the uh, very um, fascinating uh, for us to witness. Uh, although it's Guru uh, Padma Sambhava came in the seventh, eighth century, but still. Then followed by Guru Padma Sambhava uh, who came to Nepal, yes, and then uh, and uh, state or state of enlightenment in Nepal, where uh, called uh, what is this place called Yangleshu Harping. Yes, so um, Guru Padma Sambhava Cave, where you can uh, still uh, go and see that cave. Uh, and the Guru Padma Sambhava uh, brought uh, the uh, Vajarkiliya yes, uh, practice uh, to yeah, Nepal uh, because uh, at that time, Guru, uh, in, in, the, in Kathmandu, Kathmandu area, so there was like you know big problem of um, pandemic, you know, like a pandemic, like like this, like this kind of uh, problem what we are having now. Uh, so so Guru Padma Sambhava brought Vajrakiliya to tame this kind of pandemic, and and then uh, with that Guru Padma Sambhava attained the state of enlightenment. Yes. So so that's how you know uh, how to say uh, know about a little history or little uh, background of Guru Padma Sambhava. And, uh, and then followed by, of course, there was like a um, different kind of activity in uh, Nepal. Uh, uh, for example, like uh, Marathi Kake, yes, where Guru Padma Sambhava meditated with the Amitayu, uh, Amitayu practice, yes. And, uh, and then there was uh, one uh, Mara who, uh, caused or who became a problem so to uh, 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 Guru Padma Sambhava meditation or retreat and then block that care. And while Guru Padma Sambhava, there was no any uh, exit, you know, to come out from their care. And then Guru Padma Sambhava, who, you know, flew from that care, yes, uh, uh, first two feet right and left. Uh, of the mount, uh, of the cave, you still can see these days, and then uh, came top of the, uh, the the cave instead of the you know uh, coming uh, side of the exit. So this uh, hole uh, from there, there was uh, like the, 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 there was one uh, hole still these days exists, and so this is now like what we can still reach. And beside that, there uh, there are in Tibet, you know, which uh, is uh, maybe of course for some of you can be able to visit. Some of uh, it's not so easy as uh, Nepal and India. Yes, uh, in Tibet uh, is, uh, there are some. Yes, still Guru Padma um, uh, places. Yes, the, uh, the activities of, of Guru Padma Sambhava. The recall of Guru Padma Sambhava. How and when and where, yes. Uh, so, uh, so having this little bit background of Guru Padma Sambhava, uh, knowing a little bit uh, about Guru Padma Sambhava history, uh, and uh, so now come to the um, how do you say the practice of Guru Padma Sambhava, which uh, usually is a day is a very famous practice in uh, Nyingma and Gagyu traditions, yes. So usually, of course, Guru Padma Sambhava. Uh, uh, when you practice, there are many different kind of uh, how to say subject that we can use. Uh, so uh, there are practices which you know very serious kind of practice uh, practices which require all kind of you know pre uh, uh, like preparations such as empowerment, 
and uh, and then the transmissions uh, and uh, and then so the instructions is uh, and uh, knowing every uh, details of the Korma and the shrine, how to set up and so on and so forth. And there are some practices which Guru Padmasambhava authorized to uh, give to the devo uh, devotee or disciple, whoever have enough devotion to Guru Padmasambhava, he or she can practice, he or she can meditate, is a uh, very uh, easy way. So, um, so, so it's uh, like, you know, the different kind of uh, methods given to us. And however, uh, uh, let's say uh, we are not going too much about the, uh, the, the first category of the practice where we require empowerment and all kind of transmissions and uh, these things because things we are doing from Zoom. So uh, there are some uh, restrictions, yes, which we're not able to do that. Uh, uh, in, in this through this Zoom, yes, therefore. So now, however, whatever is possible, so we can talk a little bit about yes, Guru Padma Sambhava. So basically, Guru Padma Sambhava belongs to the uh, Latas family Buddhas, yes, in Vajrayana. Uh, so our five family Buddhas, uh, like Vajra family, Latas family, uh, Tathagata family, and uh, activity family. Uh, and uh, 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 dual family. So Guru Padma Sambha belongs to the Lattice family, yes. And the uh, head of a uh, lot of the noble lot of the Lattice family, um, Amitabha Buddha, as you know, of this understanding or this account is very uh, necessary to know that uh, uh, where uh, this practice belongs to, and uh, if we uh, wish to attend the state of the Buddha Padma Sambhava or state of the Buddhahood, we have to uh, know the pure land, okay, which directions of the pure land and which Buddhas. So, uh, as, uh, as you know, the Amitabha Buddhas is Amitabha Buddhas and the Western pure lands are similarly the Guru Padma Sambhava. If you talk about two different kinds of pure land of Guru Padma Sambhava, one pure land within this uh, human world, yes, where we are now, you know, within our within our world. So uh, the like a group of Masambawa uh, uh, land, uh, which is not that how to say uh, difficult to go. Are difficult to, especially that time when Guru Padma Sambhava was, you know, after Nepal, Guru Padma Sambhava traveled to where? Uh, Tibet, uh, uh, under the request of the Chizong uh, Delzen, uh, yes. Uh, Tibet was used to very, very um, um, uh, untamed uh, uh, king and, uh, um, and minister and, uh, and the inhabitants. Uh, yeah, and they are more like ratchets, more like, how do you say, more like, uh, how do you say, uncivilized beings, you know. So before the technology uh, 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 exists, you know, during the uh, uh, first, before the eddy, uh, 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 and then the first, second, third century, fourth century, fifth century, up to sixth, seventh century, uh, Tibet was uh, like usually uh, it was like you know kind of like uh, according to the history. I don't know whether you uh, have this uh, access or not in in, uh, in English or others. Maybe if you have uh, in Tibetan history, then it used to say I'm I'm not sure exactly, but it says that Tibet was a very powerful country and uh, uh, with the one you know uh, how to say uh, without fighting you know without having war many uh, 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 neighbor uh, like a country at that time, like a uh, small, small country. So they are, they are very scared of Tibet king. And uh, they, uh, even though uh, there was like story about the um, uh, king who, uh, uh, who wanted to marry Nepal, uh, one Nepali king uh, daughter, a princess, 
and then one uh, Chinese uh, princess. Uh, this is quite true because you can also find this in Chinese uh, history and Nepali history also. You have this, uh, uh, how to say, uh, study in historical uh, history, yeah? So which means quite true. And then however, that the first the Nepali king did not want to give to the Tibet king. And then however, and then Tibet king um, uh, was very powerful and then without any choice he had to give similarly the Chinese king as well so uh, but however this the, it says in the history that Tibet was very very uh, how to say powerful country at that time and then uh, before before the Buddhist you know before they are Buddhist and then Guru Pema Sambhava who came to Tibet and who then you know tame uh, these uncivilized beings of these Tibetan years and then so most of them became Buddhist, and then they kind of like you know be, um, uh, give up all kind of these rule, uh, kind of wars or kind of this fighting and kind of ruling, you know, kind of uh, you know ruling and uh, trying to put under their country more, and more and more like neighbor country like these kind of things give up somehow uh, after Guru Pema Sambhava introduced Buddhism uh, to Tibet. So that is what history. Uh, historical record in Tibet, Tibetan history, you can uh, learn that way. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so then Guru Padma Sambhava, after uh, uh, spending time in Tibet, then finally Guru Padma Sambhava, who, Punup uh, Yun. So it's uh, more like in somewhere in, you know, Sri Lanka, around somewhere in the, uh, Sri Lanka, in India, this uh, border or the, somewhere there, you know, so. Sangdopari, one of the Guru Padma Sambhava, pure land. It is pure land, but it is not pure land as, you know, uh, like uh, Amitabha pure land or others put us uh, pure ram. Yes, this, this pure land is still within our uh, Shambhala, for example, Shambhala, for example, uh, what you call uh, Sangdopari. These are within our, you know, world. But then others pure land, which is beyond our world, yes. So Guru Padma Sambhava Pyulan can be known in two ways. Yes? So however, Guru Padma Sambhava is the one who is, uh, uh, there are some, uh, how do you say, uh, historical record uh, in a different uh, translation in English, where they say, oh, Guru Padma Sambhava birth country, India. Guru Padma Sambhava birth in this and that century. Guru Padma Sambhava um, father in the Buddha, Guru Padma Sambhava died in Tibet. <laughs> you know, that kind of, uh, I would just say, a little bit kind of like, how do you say, uh, not uh, ex not an exact, how do you say, uh, history uh, or the, the, the fact is, uh, is uh, understood or is uh, translated, you know, but in our, according to our Vajrayana, according to our, you know, the Vajrayana uh, Buddhism, we, um, uh, we, we, we have an example as Guru Padma Sambhava, who is someone, you know, eternity, you know, living eternity, you know, which means without passing away, without, you know, uh, a, a death history, who then uh, from Tibet, who then left Tibet and then went to the Sri Lanka or Simbo Sajiyus, you know, somewhere in Sri Lanka in India, somewhere there. So this is a little bit uh, that we need to understand and where many others, you know, uh, I have uh, seen that kind of, you know, a little bit uh, uh, misunderstand. Yeah, I think it's translation or whatever. So this, uh, just try to be aware of these things. So uh, to whenever, whatever practice we do, yes, uh, then as I said, it's very important to uh, how do you say, uh, exercise on that kind of pure land, you know, whatever with this pure land, uh, out of, let's say we put into all so many different kind of pure land we can exercise so that we can familiarize uh, that we are able to uh, be there. So um, we can bring all this into five family with this pure land, of course, yes. So uh, Guru Padma Sambhava who belongs to now these lotus families, yeah. And then uh, uh, now the Guru Padma Sambhava is one uh, image for Vajrayana practitioners uh, because uh, Buddha's time, 
uh, Buddha was not able to propagate or, or give extensive uh, Vajrayana teachings uh, due to the being uh, or sentient beings or, or, or due to the human beings were not able to uh, understand uh, uh, or not able to digest the Vajrayana teachings uh, by then. So therefore, uh, Guru, uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, who also prophesized, uh, predicted uh, 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 Guru Padma Samvava coming into uh, our time, uh, who will then uh, propagate the Vajrayana yes, uh, extensively. So, uh, so uh, as a Vajrayana um, practitioner, there are many different kind of um, uh, monastery or schools or, or places where they uh, how they keep Guru Rinpoche as the Buddha Shakyamuni, which means uh, for for the Vajrayana and the practitioners, Guru Guru Padma Sambhava is the one, same as Buddha Shakyamuni. Buddha Shakyamuni is the one of the Buddha our time is our time Buddha who is uh, if we if we if we say these times Buddha Dharma, these times Buddha's doctrine, who is the man Buddha, Chakyamuni. Similarly, Guru Padma Samba is the one, yes, who is the man Buddha for the Vajrayana practitioners or Vajrayana schools, yes. So therefore, uh, this importance of the Guru Padma Samba uh, being used in all the uh, 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 Vajrayana practice as uh, as you may whenever we start the Vajrayana practice there are system you know let's say first we do this second we do this third we do this you know there is like a b c you know one two three similarly in the very beginning number one what we do we immediately meditate on Guru Padma Sambhava you know Mo many of the art school or Nyingma practice all kind of Nyingma practices must it with uh, uh, Guru Padma Sambhava and then Kagyu practices. Of course, Kagyu has then different kind of, how to say, uh, practices. Some start with Guru Padma Sambhava, some uh, they do not start with uh, or prelude with Guru Padma Sambhava. However, in the in, 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 in uh, uh, Kama Kagyu uh, and others, uh, major Kagyu schools, it is uh, in the beginning of the Vajrayana practice, whatever you start, there is like in the northwestern part of the land, uh, Odiana, um, uh, where there's an island on the leg of the island, uh, the island, the lake name is Tanakosha, where the uh, the blessing of all the Buddhas took shape in the form, uh, shape in the form of a multicolored lotus. You know, so moved by compassion. So this kind of you know remembering, this kind of meditation, short meditation on Guru Padma Sambhava is preluded with the all kind of practices. So such as now followed by that, then uh, that kind of multicolor uh, lotus flower, moved by compassion and uh, uh, the suffering of sentient beings, yes, uh, Buddha Amitabha, who then manifest, oh, one of the Buddha Amitabha is, uh, uh, according to the, to, to, to benefit sentient, sentient beings, yes, uh, Guru Padma Sambhava, yes, who is blessed, by Guru Buddha, Buddha Anitabha, yes, and uh, who then uh, 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 found in the Lake Dhanakosha and uh, uh, miraculously born, or born, yes, uh, miraculously born. So there are four different kind of um, ways that we one can take rebirth, yes. So uh, Guru Padmasambhava born uh, not with the father and mother, uh, father, semen, and mother blood, and then the four elements, and then the consciousness meeting one human beings take rebirth. That is ordinary. That is common and very normal. Normally, take rebirth. That that's the process. However, now Guru Padma Sambhava is take rebirth as what miraculously, yes, uh, but miraculously. So out of full form of rebirth. Uh, birth, Guru Padma Sambhava birth is known as uh, miraculous. Yes. So that form uh, Guru Padma Sambhava who was found in lotus flower 
and at that moment, the Buddha of the ten directions, together with a hundred of thousands of dakinis from different uh, uh, directions, yes, involve the blessing of the uh, uh, blessing, blessing, and the the incarnation of the Buddhas, yes, who is going to be Guru Padma Sambhava, yes, and uh, how do you say? Uh, so. so and then the place where we are meditating, we are, we are practicing any kind of Vajrayana practices, please now, yeah, because every Vajrayana practices now, of course, the rooted with Guru Padma Sambhava. So please bless us, whatever we are practicing, you know. So that kind of like short meditation of Guru Padma Sambhava, you know, always we do uh, uh, in our traditions, yes. Uh, of course, there are some. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes masters say, "Hey, are you Nima? You, you are Kaju, no? Why you start with Guru Padma Sambhava? Sometimes you know, they just tease each other, each other, you know, like some Nima practitioners will tease us in, in like that way. Are you Nima? You are starting practice with Guru Padma Sambhava. <laughs> Why not with Kaju? <laughs> you know, masters. But however, the, the fact is, Nima, Kaju, uh, Gelu, uh, Satya, whatever we do." That the Vajrayana rooted it with Guru Padma Sambhava, you know. So that uh, the Japan Buddhism or the Vajrayana uh, Buddhism is really rooted with Guru Padma Sambhava. There was there is no any question of you know Nima Sajjagiri. Nima Sajjagiri has come later on with the place, later on with the gurus and so on. But in fact, the the the, the mother or the the founder or yes uh, is Guru Padma Sambhava. So therefore, uh, we we practice all. Whenever you, uh, whenever you are in monastery, you know, whenever you uh, join uh, uh, our monastery, uh, any practices, first of all, in, in although the practice is makala or practices chakra sambara, practices what uh, 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 dara or practices vajrayogini practices, um, uh, he vajra practices, guya samaja practices, kala chakra practices. Uh, recent Buddha practices, thousand, thousand, whatever, yes, whatever we do, you know, always it start with what? It start with Kru Padma Sambhava, Hum Uyye Yujin Nujan Sam, Pema Kesar Dombola. It's called a seven line prayer. Yeah, many, many usually it's called a seven line prayer. Uh, you can also find in English uh, translate, translated uh, text also, many uh, practice uh, texts. A book also you can see that you can see that uh, these seven and prayers usually it's called seven and prayers but seven and prayer also have two versions one is a totally a seven uh, is a complete seven and prayer another is extra seven and with uh, uh, invocations and receiving the uh, full uh, empowerment or authorization it's like this, you know, very, very, uh, it's, it's a very beautiful practice, but it's, uh, what it's a uh, period with, oh, before I start this practice, I take what, I take authorization from Guru Padma Sambhava. Who? Guru Padma Sambhava is the one who, you know, uh, who founded or who is the founder of the Vajrayana, who, who, who bring the Vajrayana to us, yes, who, who bring this Vajrayana precious practice to us. And then we take, instead of taking uh, empowerment from uh, the human guru, but we take directly from Guru Padma Sambhava, you know. It's a so beautiful practice with uh, taking uh, empowerment and uh, receiving or uh, or taking uh, receiving or taking permission, asking permissions or and then authorizations. And this is a so powerful practice, yet simple, yes, and it can be done every, it can be done in the beginning of every practices. So as I just mentioned about the short meditations of Guru Padma Sambhava, which uh, talk about the seven line prayer or seven line meditations, basically, you know. So this is a very, very uh, a well known practice to all the Ajusakaju monastery, wherever you join, wherever you, uh, you know, uh, uh, participate in monastery, it start with these short uh, meditations. So. So maybe if you are familiar with Tibetan, then you will you you might know about this line. Yeah. 
So this is, you know, every uh, practice, every um, uh, practice, before every, every practice we start in the monastery, wherever, this is recited. This is, you know, this is, let's say you can recite it, you can make it, you, you, you recite, you, you pray, you sing, whatever, you know. So the, so, so with the oh, the omze, you know, who start the chanting masters or who who, who start the, the prayer, who start these recitations, you know, oh, there's also like you know many different kind of the tune is making, you know, uh, to 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 distinguish, you know, the the, the, the importance of the these meditation, these lines, this uh, these these and the recitations, and so that way. And then um, uh, to emphasize this practice so important. So uh, some others, um, they do not only one time asking permissions or authorization mm -hmm. on what we are practicing, for example, Mahakana, for example, Genesis, whatever, but three times asking permissions you know, before we start the actual practice. So, yeah, so, okay. So today's, this Sunday, I have to do double, Things because next uh, uh, from tomorrow at, up to uh, uh, from tomorrow up to uh, ten days I'm doing uh, uh, Chakra Sambara uh, a short retreat a very strict retreat yeah short retreat a strict retreat so I may not able to come to next Sunday so therefore the next Sunday the teachings I will do today this Sunday also so therefore okay so this evening I stop here and then. Uh, next Sunday, I may not able to come because I'm, I'm doing this uh, strict Chakra Sambhara uh, retreat. And then, then, then that another Sunday, yes, not the coming Sunday, let's say the next Sunday, after two weeks, then we will do the, now the meditation of Guru Padma Sambhara. Today, we talk and we go through Guru Padma Sambhara and uh, not able to uh, do the um, uh, uh, meditations, yeah. So, wish you all a very nice Sunday and uh, so yeah so then uh, until then we will see you okay lots of love and greetings and uh, so thank you Ripoche. welcome take care